What is a publicist? Well, it's a very good question. What does my publicist do for me? Nothing. There should be a publicist's day, just as there's a father's day and a mother's day, because you can't have a bestseller without the publicist. It's absolutely crucial. One of the main things that perhaps people get the wrong idea about is the difference between publicity and marketing. I know that publicity and marketing are very closely linked, so let's hope I get marketing right. No, publicity right! Oh, this is going to be a great video. The simplest way to put it probably is to say that marketing uh, is the promotional activity around a book that you pay for, whereas publicity is things that you um, negotiate and secure for free. The publicist is the best friend that any book can ever have. The publicist's job is to get the world to notice your book, to shout about your book from the rooftops, to get your book out there to the people. Think of it like this, you walk into a bookshop and there are thousands and thousands of books, 300 get printed every, every week. Why would anyone choose your book? You have to think of a really interesting and exciting angle, um, which isn't just a case of you know, pitching it to a journalist and then automatically taking it on. My lovely publicist gets in touch uh, with editorial interviews, um, TV interviews, uh, book events. Hitting up um, other authors and celebrities for quotes for the back of the book. All over social media, people are running into this book and thinking, why haven't I read it? Why do I keep seeing it? Why is, that, why is everyone else talking about it? New media, be it blogs, booktubers, bookstagram, or just general chat on social media is increasingly important. But traditional media still has a very important part to play. You're dealing with a different book every week. You don't know which ones are going to win, which ones are going to lose. And that is ultimately an incredibly rewarding and uplifting um, environment to be working in. You turn the radio on, uh, and you hear the voice of your author and the reason that they're on that programme is because you uh, spoke to the producer and um, persuaded them to, to have that uh, interview on the programme that day. Uh, and I think that just never gets old, that's always so satisfying. The most rewarding aspect of my job, it's probably quite easy, it's dealing with fantastic authors, some of the best authors around, and getting to help them bring their books out into the world. You get to know them really well, find out what makes them tick, and work out with them the best way to communicate that in the media, online, um, and through interview and uh, broad publicity. Your publicity can make the difference between that book selling and that book sitting in the shop and doing absolutely nothing. Usually when my publicist says, will you do this? I say yes. If they think it's a good idea, then I just kind of go along with it, because what do I know? What do I know? When a book hits the bestseller list and you've had a part in it, that's the most amazing feeling. She does so much, I'm beginning to wonder whether there might be two of her. What the bloody hell is a publicist? <laughs> I just know that I see you lots and I'm really happy to see you and that you get my book out there. Cat's invading. Work no working. I mean, this is falling apart. It's falling apart, I tell you, it's falling apart! What is the weirdest thing that my publicist has ever got me to do? This video. Definitely the weirdest.